gonna try and stay somewhere for free. It's free! Look, Rudy Doody. Mummy's gonna be really annoyed. And today, we're on another road trip. We're headed up to... Mon. Bon. <laughs> We've already been to Mont Saint-Michel, Verdun Gorge, Nice, Menton, and loads of others. So let's get on the road, big drive. We've walked into Bone and we've left Mummy at home yep. because she's hurt her foot, it's bruised. Yeah, it's really bad. So we've wandered in. It's a beautiful little town, yeah. isn't it? What did you spot on the way in? In the rain, I saw a statue of a person. It has like a thing like this, the person's head bust, right. and then there's, there were statues, and, the bit, yeah. and it was on a pillar. And the statues were hugging the pillar. That's right, and we're just going to wander and in. in the place where we can get bric a brac, I think. Mummy's going to be really annoyed. Every time we go somewhere, we look for bric a brac and market, and we found one. She's not here. Yeah. Can you check it out? Yeah. Oh, the market was brilliant. Yes. And just opposite is this famous hospital. Yes. We're going to have a look around it now and take and you with us. Audio guide. Audio guide. Do you want to know what we bought? We'll show you that later. The first thing that strikes you is all of the tiles, isn't it? Yeah, it's very beautiful tiles. They're very colourful as well. And then you go into one of the main, I suppose, what you describe today as a ward, and there were how many beds down each side? Do you remember? No. So there were 30 beds down each side, and each one's made up to be able to be drawn, wasn't it? And what would the nurses do in the morning? They would open up the curtains and make their beds and then shut the curtains. Then you go through to a more modern room, which was for the paying patients. And actually, they took elderly patients in there until 1984, believe it or not. This place won't be to every eight-year-old's taste, but Lily genuinely loved exploring it and listened to every single audio snippet. The hospital, being a charity, was partly funded by its vineyards. The good work continues with their trust as they still auction their wines here in Bone. So, we found these two cat human pictures. <laughs> but there's also a cat in the bag. We'd better get back before Mummy misses us. Yeah, and guys, where are you? <laughs> We're going to be in so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> So what was your favourite bit of the visit to the hospital? I think it was the starting bit, one at the bit when there was like the room with like the ladies and the rich people in. And we also went to the market, obviously. We got first up this glass little sweetie for mummy for our little glass shelf. I got. I'm just getting her prepared. She's a bit nervous. Anyway, the visit to Bone is well worth it. They've got other things here as well, like a mustard museum. They, we went into a chapel on the way back, very famous. They have free art galleries here, loads of restaurants. And from the air that we're staying in, it's literally a 15 minute walk. He's ready. This is Lily's Barbie. She found this outfit for her, didn't you, at the market? Yeah. Oh my God. It's a quick shower of you. You know the Shawshank Redemption, where I need to climb through that big pipe. Well, that's what it smelled like in there. I think I was in there for about three minutes. Wish I'd use my own shower. Disgusting, zero out of 10. We're just gonna look for part for night. We're gonna try and find somewhere on there, which is actually, well, not the first. This is sort of the first type of 
time we're going to try and stay somewhere for free. Cheap, cheap, cheap. We're just going to wing it a little bit and try and find a stop between here in Bone and Paris. But first, we need to go and stock up with some supplies. Spend, we need snacks. Spend a lot of money. I suppose it's the same as at home, but everything does seem to be a bit dear over there. Yeah, I don't know if we get some sort of super tourist tax or what, but... And, and yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, like mental's like nine euros. Yeah, that's, that's dear. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, to the supermarket. The Intermarché was mega, as was this car storage facility that we found around the back. And this way packed in this for the right, so let's go over the banks and drive in between them, it's weird. We have arrived at a free park up that we found on park for night. This is on a vineyard and it's got six delimited spaces, each with water, each with electricity, each with a drain point, and it's got a motorhome drain point at the end too. It's free! Mega. So obviously there's probably an expo, well, there is an expectation you go and look around the vineyard and they do free wine tasting here. There is a museum here too. Oh, cork's got we think so. But, or cork? <laughs> Don't know. We can go have a look in a minute. Yeah. First of all, we're having some lunch. Yeah. But free, and it's completely flat. We've, yeah. I've got out my little my little level doofer. Completely flat, mate. I, I think see. over there there's even a shower and a toilet mm. if you needed it. Yeah. Ten minutes off the A6. Pretty quiet at the moment. So far, so good. I feel like something bad's gonna happen, but no, it's it feels not. too good to be true, doesn't it? But yeah, so lunch, bad. and then we'll go for explore. Go have a look, we'll see what we can see. Yeah, that was a big jump. So, we've got a lovely visitor come and check yeah. out our van, ask very good questions. It's amazing. So, this lady, I think, is German, so she's speaking to us in French, German, and English. Yeah, it was we brilliant. Could, we could understand her perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we really need to learn more French. Mm, okay. Oh. Do you need to stay at home? Kelly's first still giving her terrible trouble. Where are you? I'm here. I'm limping along. Limping along. Bruised foot. Oh, it hurts. We found the Corkscrew Museum and we've just been introduced to it by Natalie, I think her name is. So she is um, the daughter of the family run vineyard. Yeah, and it's got 4,900 corkscrews in here. So we're gonna try and find the most interesting one. Cal's already found one that she finds most interesting. Yeah. And it's one of the first ones that you see as you enter the museum. <laughs> this whole place is like five massive rooms full of stuff. And then you worm your way through. There's got upstairs and downstairs. There's tasting rooms downstairs. And there's lots of choice and interesting implements in here. The French obviously have a Funny sense of humour. Yeah, a lot of Rudy Doodies. And we also spotted quite a lot of snails mm. on the way through. And then I tell them that she's got to buy me the giant African snail. Sausage, big sausage. <laughs> right, that's sausage. The problem with these bent sausages mm. is that they're bent. Tell you something about France is that we have been eaten to death. Look. I also have two. I'll show yours, Rich. Rich's is all around his ankles. I put them in here. Covered. Absolutely. I put them right here. Bitten to death. Yeah. So we need some sort of mosquito thing. And we've been using those incense sticks and they work quite well. But they don't get rid of it completely. No. We need some sort of gizmo, you think? Dad, I saw like mosquito colour in the shop and I said we should get it. The problem is though, like, because of your allergies and stuff, we don't like using chemicals, do we? No. It seems to be 
thing because there's these massive wangers in there and then there's the big wangers that were knocking about in there. That said one yeah, reminded yeah. me of you, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, it was the little one. <laughs> So we couldn't go and do a wine testing because one, I'm driving tomorrow, and two, we've got this one with us. So they did have children there doing it, like asleep mainly, but yeah. as you can see, we couldn't really sit down to do it. And we've come back to relax and now um, they've shut. They did wasn't it? Doing much you can pay to go in there, I think it's three euros fifty. Yeah. Um, but yeah, lots to look at in there, wasn't there? Yeah, there was. It was. One of our first trips, about two weeks ago, to the supermarket, we found baby bells. This is like a normal size one. And this is a giant baby bell. And what are you doing with it? Celebrate it because it's controversial. It's going to grate it and now it is a pasta. Ooh, we'll see what that looks like. Disgusting see how much wax comes off that thing. It's the great big baby bell unraveling. The reveal. Please peel me this big baby bell so I can. I would do the honors. Drop it on the floor. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of hard. Oh my gosh. Hey, I made a little pigtail. <laughs> There you go. Thank you. France just does this so much better than the UK. So these are sorts of airs that you find on Park for Night, Search for Sites, France Passion. It's like our version of their version, sorry, of Brit Stops. Uh, we can vineyards, honey farms. We even found a place uh, where there's a snail farm where you can stay, which we we're desperate to go to when we go to Lille. Um, it's just when we were down south, they were much harder to find. And because we've got Lily here, and we were saying a couple of nights campsites work much better for us but this one stop off on the way to paris ideal contribute to the shop museum all of that stuff but you know still cheaper on a campsite that is a big, big. baby bell baby. Oh. mate you could make something from that yeah i could like make something Amazing out. Go on, Ed. You can make it. Oh no, we're in major trouble here. Kelly needed it to put back on the baby bell. What do you think now? Hey. What are you eating? An energy thing. Very good. Earth. And now, get ready for showers. Yay! It's the first time in almost three weeks. We're yeah. using our own shower, yeah, is. which is weird because we love our shower. So everything's prepped. The thing about our bathroom that's special, for those who don't know, our toilet slides away and hides in the bathroom so we can use the shower. Yeah. We have a full household shower in there. And it should do us just right. We've got water here as well so we can shower for as long as we like. Oh, clean. Time for bed report back on how this free park up has gone for us in the morning yeah. so far so good though so far so good good night it's the next day we had a good night's sleep yeah. didn't we in the, in the car park at the vineyard yeah. and it was lovely and quiet yeah. thank you so much for watching you can watch any of our other videos up here yeah. and we will see you next time one two, two three bye, bye.